In this video, I wanted to show you how I got the Z-Touch probe to work in Linux CNC using the Raspberry Pi parallel hat and the 5-axis breakout board. If you aren't familiar with what a Z-probe is, it's a simple on and off switch and a way of finding the Z-height of the tip of the tool relative to the fixture or part. This is used a lot when a part requires multiple tools or bits and each of them have different lengths. After changing a tool or bit, simply run the Z-probe and then it is calibrated again. This video is based off the tutorial by Sean D and I will put a link to his site in the description. I will need to measure the thickness of the Z-probe so that the measurement can be used by the software when it touches off. I got this probe from AliExpress but literally anything can be used as long as it is conductive and a wire can be attached to it. I will post a link to the probe base that I bought in the description. The connection to the 5-axis breakout board is pretty simple. The plate gets connected to any of the ground terminals and the clip gets connected to one of the inputs. Alright, here's Sean's tutorial that uh, tells us how to get the Z-probe working and the connection is not really important right now but what we're going to do first is look at the uh, the net probe command that we're going to put into the HAL file in our uh, machine folder. So right here is my uh, slash home slash cnc slash linux cnc slash configs slash cnc router folder which is where I have all of the files dedicated to my machine. So here is the cnc router dot HAL file I'm going to open that up and I am going to paste the line from the website in here. Now this isn't correct because I need to change this to work for the Raspberry Pi 5. Um, I've got some other examples of how to use pin inputs down here so I'm going to just copy that and paste that in. Now when I connect it to my board I'm going to use pin 22 and I'm going to type dash not so that the inverse of that signal is actually used for the probe input. Alright that was step one. The next it says to basically create a XML file and put that in the same folder. So we are going to create a new file, paste that in, and this will create the button on the top right of the Linux CNC. So I prefer a font size of 10 because that's a little bit more uh, consistent with the rest of the Axis GUI display. So I am going to save that file as ztouch.xml. I'll save and I'm going to place it in my CNC router folder Oops. and and that is it for that step. Let's see. Next is the post GUI dot hal so we're gonna add this line and we're gonna add it verbatim now the thing that that uh, we need to watch out for is our hal file or actually sorry our INI file has a post GUI hal file that it's gonna call so on my machine it is post GUI underscore call underscore list dot hal. So I'm going to open up that file and I'm going to place that command right there. We're going to save that and close it. Alright, the next is to create the actual subroutine that contains the G code files that get run when 
the the touch button is pressed so we're going to create a subroutines folder and place that file into it let's see I'm going to go ahead and create a folder go into it and I'm going to go back to Genie and create a new file paste the information I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the the white space in the beginning and I always like to have a, a new line at the end of the file so this file really is gonna tell it what to do um, when it when you press the button it's gonna move downward uh, upwards a maximum of 10 millimeters as it's looking for the probe to touch as soon as it does touch then it uh, moves it up by 0.1 millimeter and goes back down using the G38 um, probe command and when it touches again then it sets the the height of the tool at that point now my particular tool is 19.40 millimeters thick so you'll need to measure your your touch probe base and however thick that is that's what you'll place right here so we're gonna save that file and place it in the subroutines folder and we are gonna call that file ztouch.ngc all right now comes the hard part so what we're gonna do is open up the cnc router.ini file and we are going to make some modifications so that uh, everything can be found. First, we're going to want to look in the display section and we're going to add a line to the bottom pyvcp equals ztouch.xml. Okay. Next, we go down to the RS274NGC file, and we're going to tell it the subroutine path. Now, on all of this Linux CNC builds for the Raspberry Pi, the user is CNC. So I'm going to have it go into the Linux CNC folder, configs, and my machine is called CNC router, and then sub routines, and end it with a slash. Okay, next we're gonna look for the HAL section, just like it says here, and HAL file is not something we need to worry about. Uh, the post GUI HAL file is not something we need to worry about. But what we do need to add is the HAL UI. And then right below it, we're gonna actually add the HAL UI section. In that, we're gonna place the MDI command equals O, that's not a zero, that's a O. We're gonna Z touch, whoops. Z touch call. So when we press the button, it's gonna call that subroutine. One thing I did forget to mention is that when we modified the HAL file, um, we added this line right here, which includes pin 22, which 
that's how it's um, what pin it's connected to on my five axis breakout board. But Linux CNC will throw an error if you don't specify pin 22 as a valid input. So at line 70 near the top of the file, I'm gonna add pin 22 to the list of inputs. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And that should be all that's necessary. So I'm gonna go ahead and start up Linux CNC. Here we have the GUI. It's got the button at the top. We're gonna do a home routine. Really no movements are, are available until after the home is complete. I'm gonna move the machine over to where the bit is basically right above the Z probe. I put the clip on the, the bit itself. All right, I'm just gonna go up here and hit the button. It's gonna go down slow. Once it hits, it's gonna go up quickly back down really slowly and stop. I do get some of these errors down on the bottom right, uh, but those I'm gonna ignore because the Z height is now set for exactly the thickness of the probe base that I'm using. So I can go ahead and move the Z axis up off of the base. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was informative. If it was, please hit the like button. I've got some different types of content coming, so please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks again.